Welcome you all to Sick Biker Studio. Today I'm gonna speak really low because of the echo in the studio. Sorry for that. I'm just rearranging and everything. So I'm today on the other side of the studio and there will be something, something new here coming very, very soon. Today, a road bike versus mountain bike. I mean, if you switch from a mountain bike to the road bike for the first time, what differences you will feel. And it is a completely different uh, ride experience. So uh, I'm not only going to show you the differences, but also want to encourage you. If you haven't tried road bike in your life, you'll, you feel like you know, you've got the MTB in your veins, try it and have both. So if you were going to ask me, so then MTB or road, both, for sure you need to have two bikes. It doesn't have to be all Tigra 105, uh, Campagnolo Centaur uh, or anything. It can be really like a budget bike on some 9, 10 speeds, uh, even drivetrain if you don't have money for another bike. Uh, if you have fancy MTB road bike, just the basic one will give you that feel and it will help you with your training as well. So MTB road bike, can you see the difference? Of course. The modern uh, mountain bikes are just huge, 29 -wheel inch wheels. So roughly the same uh, diameter of the rim for road and mountain, but because of the, uh, of the tires, the wheel of the 29er is much higher, much, just much more bulky uh, than the 700C uh, road bike uh, wheel. So you can see the difference. Thus, the bike will be longer but also one of the first differences you're gonna feel between MTB and a road bike is that mountain bike is much higher bike. So if you were to compare the BB height, so how high your bottom bracket sits, for example, uh, the FSI, uh, this one should have just around 31 centimeters. It doesn't uh, stand uh, straight, so 31 centimeters versus here we've got some some 28 or so it is a huge difference and if this was going to be a full suspension bike which are becoming much more popular from among the trail riders than the hardtails it will be even two two and a half centimeter more so five centimeters a difference in, in terms of the height between mountain bike and a road bike is huge. So if you sit on the mountain bike, it will be much more difficult for you to support yourself uh, with, your, with your foot. Uh, on the road bike, it will feel like, wow, how, how low this bike is. Then the second wow, and this one is going to be pretty uncomfortable <laughs> at the first glance, is the handlebar, and I mean the handlebar width. Just look at the mountain bike. Uh, this is pretty standard uh, handlebar for mountain bike that you will get. Uh, this one is, I think, 780 millimeters. So between, let's say everyone now will ride between 72, 78 centimeters of the width. The road bike has 42 centimeters. Center to center. And that means because uh, of all these different shape, all this shaping on, on the road bike, if you wanna grasp your handlebar just as, the, as on the mountain bike, you're gonna have uh, to put your palms right there and it will be even, um, uh, even more um, narrow, so narrower. That would be maybe 38 centimeters. So you know that let's say five centimeters in terms of the width is a huge difference. But here we've got some, what, 40 versus 80, 30, 40 centimeters uh, difference. It, it, it is huge. And uh, if someone was to tell you that pretty soon when you start riding the road bike, you will be riding this bike speeding down the hills 70, 80 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers per hour is no problem on the steep uh, descents you would say, no way, not with these handlebars. But then once you start to, to, to ride the bike and you, and you become familiar with, the, with this handlebar, you will also notice the comfortable side on it. That means you have so many different positions for your palms. 
you can ride just like that. This is the climbing position. You can ride on the hoods, as we say, as a cyclist. You can ride on the drops in the aero position. And all these positions will not only give you more aerodynamics, but also it will be super versatile. It is really a bike for a long, long rides. Now, I'm just talking general mountain bike versus road bike. It can be endurance bike, sportive uh, bike. This one is the aerodynamic, aero road bike, but with the geometry like the classic road bike. So uh, just, just bear that in mind. Roughly, I'm comparing MTV and the road. So these handlebars are awesome once you are familiar with the with the width, which will be much narrower than the mountain bike. But also you can see that this handlebar is higher than this one. So the bike in general, the road bike will be lower. Okay. Now the next difference, which is the huge shock. This is a striking thing really is how the bike rides. So it will feel harsh. You will feel right away. You will learn right away that you need to uh, to just um, pass any any small bumps on the roads which you are not even looking at when on your MTB 2.25 2.4 uh, tires on this one you need to be careful of that but the speed and the sound will be completely different thing so on this one when you ride on the tarmac you will hear on this one really awesome feel. So the slick tires, really, really thin tires uh, are going to be super silent, super efficient and super, super fast. So if you like the speed, let's say you are a enduro rider, you are gravity lover, sit on the road bike and find some nice descents and you will be, you will be really astounded how the bike really performs. And the next thing you will really surprise you in terms of the tires is that how do you think which of these wheels will get will get better traction on the tarmac it is a road bike for sure the higher knobs you've got on your how aggressive tire you got you have doesn't matter the higher the knobs the more they will flex on the tarmac and uh, when you are riding some loose pack some gravel road some terrain it helps on the tarmac it sucks here on the slick tires you've got pretty much the same traction when you are riding just straight forward and we, when you are cornering uh, you feel man this is a really, really huge difference between the mountain bike and the road bike so you really really have to try this one also if you want to learn uh, how to how to pace yourself if you want to do some nice tempos if you want to learn technique of your pedaling so pedaling skills uh, improvement a road bike is the way to go of course you can train on the mountain bike and race on the mountain bike but uh, having the road bike is is great great addition to your whole uh, riding experience and also your it will benefit your riding skills bike handling skills and your uh, fitness that's that's for sure i can tell you that for sure of course it will be rough on the bumps but also it will be it will feel like super efficient nothing flexes here even if you have the lockout on your fork uh, probably you are riding uh, with the tire pressure below two bars right maybe you've got one nine in the rear one eight in the front here you've got much much more you got you you start with let's say 90 psi and go upwards a lot if you if you if you wish so nothing flexes here. It's super efficient, super nice thing. Braking, uh, you are familiar with this kind of braking. So this position on the handlebar and that kind of braking here, it's completely different. If you wanna have really strong power, you need to go to the drops and you will brake like that. So your lever is not horizontal, right? But vertical. And when you're riding on the hoods, the braking will be even different. So the brakes on the road bikes are really efficient. Now more road, road, road bikes are getting the disc brakes, which are also super cool. But you need to get familiar with, uh, get used to with this position of these levers, which are used at least on Shimano both for braking and changing the gears. So that's really interesting. Shimano had some, some dual 
shifters like back in 2000 something I don't remember well uh, but they no longer have it so you probably are not familiar with braking and changing the gears with the same lever so that's gonna be really interesting experience let me know uh, guys in the comments uh, what was your feel when switching from one to another and why is it really really beneficial uh, to try out the road bike believe me uh, if you want me to be more specific the alloy frame with let's say Shimano Tiagra components uh, I talked about last week on one of the online buyer's guide um, videos will be just enough so something like Campagnolo Veloce or SRAM Apex cool components you don't need more if you just want to try out uh, some nice uh, road bike then adding super light and and carbon components will not give you that much different of, a, of an experience so like some something like a budget uh, road bike with the alloy frame and good components will be just just enough that's what i wanted to tell you it's a huge difference so 30 40 centimeters less in terms of the width on your handlebars different position but uh, more possibilities are on putting your palms on the handlebars being aero be, being super efficient super fast and so on the mountain bike you are riding like on the road bike just 